In modern battlefields, the deadliest threat isn't always a fighter jet or a ballistic missile. Sometimes, it's a $500 drone with a GoPro strapped to it. Over the last few years, we've seen it firsthand. From the trenches of Ukraine to the deserts of the Middle East, small, cheap, and highly maneuverable drones are rewriting the rules of warfare. The U.S. Army knows it, and now they're responding. Recently, at Yuma Proving Ground in Arizona, the Army test-fired a brand-new 30mm anti-drone weapon system, a next-generation autocannon designed to counter swarms of unmanned threats before they can overwhelm U.S. forces. And if what we saw in testing is any indication, this is more than just another gun on a truck. It's the Army's answer to a growing aerial arms race. Drones have changed everything. A few years ago, a $2 million missile was the standard response to an incoming airborne threat. Now, the problem is much cheaper, faster, and harder to detect. Swarming FPVs, autonomous kamikaze UAVs, and long-range loitering munitions are saturating battlefields across the globe. The Pentagon knows the old model doesn't work anymore. We can't fire $400,000 missiles to shoot down $1,000 drones forever. What we're watching unfold is a full-blown shift in short-range air defense doctrine, and the XM-12113 mm anti-drone system is at the center of it. Built around the XM914 Bushmaster chain gun, this platform fires 30 by 113 mm programmable proximity fused rounds capable of shredding drones mid-air. Mounted on vehicles like the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle (JLTV), the Striker A1, and future MSHRAD platforms, it integrates multispectral electro-optical sensors Kupand radar, and AI-assisted targeting software designed to track and neutralize targets in seconds. The key here isn't just firepower, it's speed and precision. During recent Army and Marine Corps joint trials, two vehicle teams worked in unison, combining sensors, electronic warfare pods, Stinger missile launchers, and the XM-194 cannon into a mobile counter UAS package. In testing, Marines and soldiers use the Marine Air Defense Integrated System, a modular platform mounted on a JLTV, capable of detecting, tracking, and intercepting drones, helicopters, and even low-flying aircraft simultaneously. The results? Over 50 drone intercept attempts with a 92% confirmed kill rate, even during GPS jamming scenarios. That's a significant leap forward compared to traditional air defense systems. What makes this particularly impressive is the system's ability to handle multi-layered drone swarms. In one simulated engagement, incoming FPV drones came in low and fast, while fixed-wing UAVs circled above. Using TANTS, the Target Acquisition Neural Tracking System, the gun prioritized the most immediate threats automatically. Marines could switch between electronic jamming, missile intercepts, and 30mm direct fire seamlessly creating a layered bubble of protection around forward-deployed forces. The Coyote Interceptor drones are another key part of this architecture. Integrated into the mobile platform, Coyotes act like hunter-killer UAVs, tracking and destroying hostile drones beyond the cannon's range. Paired with advanced radar and EOIR sensors, the system creates an overlapping defense network designed to handle nearly every aerial threat short of a ballistic missile. This is critical because adversaries like Russia, Iran, and China are rapidly developing swarm tactics that could overwhelm traditional air defense units in seconds. And here's the reality. The U.S. isn't doing this in a vacuum. Russia's Lancet drones, Iran's Shads, and China's autonomous swarms have already proven just how dangerous low-cost drones can be. Every military power right now is racing to find the perfect balance between cost-effective defenses and survivability on the modern battlefield. The XM-1211's integration into the Maneuver Short-Range Air Defense Program is the Army's answer. By combining high-energy lasers, microwave disruptors, and the 30mm autocannon into a single networked system, the Army is building a layered defense strategy where every threat, from a slow-moving quadcopter to a kamikaze drone traveling at 200 miles per hour, has a countermeasure ready to deploy. 
What we're watching isn't just another weapons test, it's a revolution in air defense doctrine. The next conflict, whether it's over the skies of Eastern Europe, the Persian Gulf, or the Indo-Pacific, will be fought against swarms of autonomous drones moving faster and striking harder than ever before. That's why the Army is accelerating fielding plans, aiming to deploy the first operational XM-111 equipped vehicles by mid-2026, with over 400 systems planned by 2028. This is the future of warfare, fast, mobile, layered defense capable of countering the chaos of autonomous drone attacks in seconds. Watching the tests at Yuma, you can't help but realize something big is happening here. The battlefield is evolving at a pace we've never seen before, and America's response is clear. Adapt fast or get left behind. The XM-111 isn't just a weapon, it's a glimpse into the next era of modern combat where the fight for air dominance starts just a few hundred feet above the ground.